Hi folks, welcome to this video on an intro to limits and calculus. So right off the bat, we'll deal with the big question. What is calculus? I guess a simple definition is that calculus is the mathematics of quantities that change and how they change. And if you want to break it down into basically two questions, here they are, ever so slightly simplified. Questions we're asking is, if you have some function like this, what is the steepness of this curve at some point, say right here? And one way to find that would be to draw the tangent, that means a line that just touches at the point that we're interested in. The other question is, what's the area underneath a given curve? So if I have a different curve like this, I'm wondering, what is this area? At its core, calculus is really just those two things. Uh, so it doesn't have to be this big, scary topic. When we're talking about the steepness of the curve, we're talking about something called differential calculus. And when we're talking about area, we're talking about something called integral calculus. As we get into it, we'll be spending most of our time on differential calculus, or in other words, slope or steepness. Finding the steepness of a line is easy. All you have to do is pick any two points and slope, which is denoted by m, or you might call it gradient, is just rise over run, or change in y over change in x, or sometimes we can write it as y2 minus y1 all over x2 minus x1. So if I pick two points on this line, between those two points, there's a run of 1 and a rise of 2. So slope could be 2 over 1. That's just 2. But I could pick different points. I could pick this point and this one over here. Let's see. If that were the case, I'd have a run of 2 and a rise of 4. So slope would be 4 over 2. Oh, the slope is the same. If I picked different points, so I picked this one and, say, this one up here, I'd have a run of 3 and a rise of 6. So m would be 6 over 3. It's still 2. Okay. No matter what two points we choose on a line, the slope is always the same. But when we move to curves, slope is a little trickier, or steepness is trickier, because the steepness is always changing. Obviously, if you were on a roller coaster that did this parabolic thing here, the steepness would be changing at different moments. It's obviously steeper right here than it is, say, right here. The easiest way to think about the steepness of a curve at a given point is to draw the tangent at that point. So a tangent line is one that just touches the curve at a single point. It's almost as if you were following the path of the curve, and say we wanted to draw the tangent at 2. It's as if the parabola stopped existing and you just shot off in the same direction that you were going. If I draw the tangent at x equals 2, that's right at this point, I think it looks pretty much like that. That kind of represents the steepness at that point. Okay. So if we want to find that slope or the steepness at that individual point of x equals 2, um, we could just use slope formula, rise over run. Okay. So what I can do is I can pick two points. Maybe I'll pick uh, this one over here, 2, 4, and I'll pick this one over here, 3, 9. And I can just find the slope between those two points. So it's going to be y2, which will be 9, minus y1, which is 4, all over x2, minus x1. That'll give me 5 over 1, or 5. But here's the problem. That steepness right there that goes between those two points is not quite the same as the steepness of the tangent. What we have instead is a secant, one that touches the curve in two places instead of one. So that's a problem. We haven't actually found the tangent if we use two points. So you might say, OK, well, why don't we just use one point? Let's just use this point twice. So that would be y2 and y1 are both 4. x2 and x1 are both 2. That would give us 0 over 0. Oh, dear. 0 over 0 is not 0. It's indeterminate or undefined. We may be able to get around this somehow, but right now it seems like we've got division by zero, which is a big no-no in mathematics. 
So at this point, you might say, all right, we can't use the same point twice, but maybe we can use two points that are closer together. What if I really zoom in here and I use the point uh, 2, 4, and 1 right next to it here? This will be 2.1, and the y-coordinate would come from squaring 2.1, which would be 4.41. Okay, that's still going to be a secant, but it's going to be closer to the tangent. So I can draw it through those two points. And once I have those two points, I could find the slope. I could just go y2 minus y1 all over x2 minus x1. And it turns out that's going to give me 4.1. And you'd say, okay, that's pretty good. It looks really close to the tangent. What if we went even closer? Let me zoom way, way far in here. What if I picked still 2, 4, okay, 2, 4, and this one just right here, like at 2.01, and the corresponding y value would be 4.0401. Those are really close together. And draw the secant through those two points. The slope's going to be just a touch different. I can find the slope by just subbing in y2 minus y1 all over x2 minus x1. Okay, and it turns out I'll get 4.01. At this point, you might start to get suspicious. You might say, oh, well, maybe the actual tangent slope is just really close to 4. And the number that's closest to 4 is just 4. The thing is, you could always get a little closer. We could go 2.001 or 2.0001. What we really want is two points to be as close together as possible. In other words, we want the distance between these points to be infinitesimally small. And that's going to bring us to the idea of limits. Initially, limits and steepness that will seem like unrelated topics, but we'll close the loop on them pretty soon. So I'm going to leave it to Nancy Pye to introduce limits and how to find limits algebraically in the videos that are listed here. You can find the playlist in the video description down below. And then after you've watched those two, there's a final video from me called Connecting Graphical, Algebraic, and Numerical Approaches to Limits. Good luck with the material, folks, and take care.